Many years ago, Plato tried to describe how we learn by using a metaphor of people trapped in a cave looking at shadows. And he described education as coming out from looking at the shadows into seeing things in their full glory in three dimensions with real natural light, and then tried to imagine what would happen to somebody who had seen this trying to come back into the real world of the cave. Computer science is just one big puzzle. It's a way of solving problems. It just conditions you to think, which, I mean, the most important thing in like the, out in the real world is just solving problems and making things happen. And that's what it kind of teaches you is to think in a way of how can I solve this problem or how can I use the tools at my disposal to get this done. Change and that should be up to like 500 at the end. Two divide six, three divide six. Now, do we have a predicate for existence in our sort of logic? In my class, we're looking at how do we take this wonderful three-dimensional world that we live in and put it onto a two-dimensional canvas. So it really links mathematics and also art. But on, all along, we're thinking in the back of our heads about what does this mean about how we know lots of things in general. The unique thing about computer science at FNM, I think, is the things that we work on are something that the professors truly believe. And we're doing lots of theoretical things like discussing non-determinate Turing machines and some of my best friends have come from FNM and it's a really great place to build those great relationships that I think would last. By taking philosophy classes or majoring in philosophy, you really gain all the knowledge you need to make an argument or to defend something you stand for or value and it kind of really helps you in any other subject like whether it's math, it kind of helps you structure and formalize what you're trying to say. It's definitely a connection between those two.